In the next question, he says a cone and a hemisphere have equal bases and equal volume. So we need to make one cone and one hemisphere. Let's say we make one cone. Let's say first I'm making a cone here. I made a cone. And now we make need to make a hemisphere. Yeah. I made a cone and a hemisphere, and he says that let's say the radius of this is say R and the radius of this should also be taken as r why so because it says have equal bases so equal bases like their base is equal it implies their base radius should also be equal so we have their radii as equal further as i can see their volumes are also equal that means whatever is the volume of the first figure right say v1 is equal to v2 let's say v1 be the volume of this and v2 be the volume of this we have to find the ratio of their heights. That means if I say the height for this is say h, you should know that we do not have a, as such, we don't use a term height, but whatever is the radius is its height. So radius is same as the height in this case. Now, if you read this question further, it says we have to get the ratio of their height. That means h, which is the height of the cone, as you can see, the cone comes first, and that's why I've taken the height of the cone first, and then height of the height of the hemisphere, which I said is its radius only. This is what we are required to find out. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace this V1 with the volume of a cone, which you must be knowing that it is one over three pi r square h. And for the volume of a hemisphere, we have a formula that is 2 over 3 pi r cube. Now, in the next step, we can cancel this 3 and 3 and also can replace, reduce pi and pi. Now, this is r cube, right? So, there are 3 r over here. You may write this. If it is not clear, you may write this r as 3 times r into r into say r multiplied by r multiplied by r so this is square times r so i can cancel this this is square times r right so this is 2r get cancelled now keeping in mind that i have to get h over r so what i am doing let's say whatever we got i should write this 2r right we are left with one h here one two and one r now, as you can see, we have to get h over r. So, I'm transposing this r to the left. So, this is h over r is equal to 2 over 1. So, the required ratio is 2 is to 1. You can say the required ratio in this case, we have to get is 2 over 1, which is 2 is to 1. Now, important thing to understand here is that whenever they talk about the height of a, whenever they talk about the height of a hemisphere by that they mean to say that this is the radius we do not have a height we don't use the term height but actually whenever we use the term height it means or we imply it is the radius of the hemisphere similarly if it is a sphere in, instead of a sphere if it is instead of a hemisphere if it is a sphere in that case its diameter is taken as its height